Hey guys, put them up. Now, today we're going to be working with some power and also getting ourselves a handgun, which is kind of crazy. It's Minecraft. All right, guys, so let's just jump right on into this. So we have a bit we need to do. As we can see, we've done a lot of the quests. We're about halfway through. I would I would say halfway through anyways. Um, we are on the power upside. We haven't even hit the tech progression now that I look at it. Um, but we are in the part where we're kind of generating some power. Whether that be good power, I don't know. But uh, there is a few things that I wanted to kind of jump in first before we do that. And that was the uh, the electric furnace was kind of interesting. Um, and I do have this battery just being used for nothing right now. So I figured we might be able to just use that for actually making uh, the electric furnace. Let me see, I have clay littered everywhere, literally everywhere. And I only need a few blocks of this. I think it's seven blocks I need. And I actually need a copper plate as well, along with a regular furnace. Okay. And I also have uh, some other stuff laying around if I do remember correctly. There we go, those, I need eight of those. There we go. Gotta love that obsidian stuff. All right, let's make some hardened stone. Let's make a furnace real quick. There we go. And I do believe it is made just like this. And there's an electric furnace from Magne a Magnetic Craft. Okay, so can I just set this on here and will this be powered? Yes. Okay, so this is powering it. Directly connected. How fast is this thing? That is what I want to know. And can the electric furnace melt these things down? Or, I mean, I'm sure there's no other recipe for these, yeah. Uh, other than melting. Man, I was hoping that there would be a better use for this furnace, but uh, just not right now. I, I was seeing it. Maybe I had something that uh, wasn't cooked yet. But it looks like everything we have is... Oh, there's some. So let's see what this Kamenite blend does. I mean, it's... It's okay. It looks like this thing only uses 20 RF a tick. So this thing is a fuelless furnace for us. Nice. I'll definitely use that. Uh, I'll keep some uh, coal and stuff in it. Or not coal, some cobblestone. Because it seems like I'm always needing stone of some sort. So yeah, that little guy can, uh, can yeah, kind of run and do its own thing. Nice. It doesn't really use that much. Um, okay, so the next thing I think we're going to kind of step into is getting the windmill power. So it says, I have discovered a way to make a second sort of power, kinetic power, from the wind. Uh, yeah, from the wind is a good source of energy. Okay, luckily I can convert the first kind into the second kind of power. Okay, um, this new power system has new ways to transfer and store power as well. What does that mean? Luckily, I can convert the first kind into the second kind of power. Oh, I guess because it's, it's it just works. It just crosses over. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, so it looks like we get an engineer's manual for this, which is not bad at all. I wouldn't mind to get that. So we have a kinetic dynamo we need to make and a windmill. Both are pretty easy. The LV capacitor should be pretty easy as well. All right. Let's see everything we need. So I have here the immersive. And let's go ahead and work on the windmill. Now the windmill should be okay, I do believe. So we're gonna need, was it four pieces of wood per piece? So you need at least 32 treated wood planks, at least to be able to make this thing, which is understandable. So since you're gonna need eight of them, you're gonna need eight treated wood planks and then you split them in half that should give you enough treated wood sticks to be able to make all of these, right? I'm sorry, I did the opposite. You need eight a piece. 
There you go. Yeah, no. He, he only needed 16 in total. There we go. Then that should be, make enough. There you go. Eight windmill bases. And then you surround all of that with one piece of iron. As crazy and easy as that sounds. That's right. Okay, so there's our windmill. We are carrying a windmill in our hands. Wow, it looks a lot bigger when you're holding it in your hand. A whole lot bigger. Okay. And then we have the rest of the treated wood planks left over, which is just fine. Eventually, I think we're going to make these sails as well. Um, I think we can only do so many as of right now. I don't know if we have enough. We're going to find out, though, later on uh, in the video. Maybe we'll get to that. I don't know. But uh, so that's just one piece done. Let's get the kinetic dynamo up and running. So the good old kinetic dynamo requires steel. I already made some more of these machine blocks and then the copper coils, two copper coils to be exact. And I think I need to make a couple more copper coils to be able to have just enough. So I'm processing copper right now, making more copper plates because we are gonna need tons of those. And uh, I think that's it. And I bet I threw my shears. Oh, they're right here. Shears, man, I'm always losing shears. Like, they just disappear from my vision for some reason. No idea why. All right, let's go ahead and make some more of these. And guys, I am sorry about my voice here recently. My voice has been, man, out of it because I'm just constantly coughing. Um... And I've got some uh, some stuff, man. This this weather changing, it literally it went from like 30 degrees where it was like constantly 30 degrees Fahrenheit to now it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and it just jumped in a matter of just a week. So my allergies are killing me. It went from winter to summer in an instant. So yeah, just just bear with me here while uh, I I make my way through this. And get my voice back. But anyways, let's get this done. There we go. There's two copper coils. I think we're going to need even more later on, but we'll just get that as we go. And then we need steel. That's uh, easy as that. Four steel. And we have a kinetic dynamo. Sweet. So let's go ahead and kind of set this up. Um, I think the, our roof is going to be a good place to get cabling and stuff going on eventually. Um, but I want to mark this spot right here. Um, I think I'll break that before we head out. I do need some placement blocks. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and break it while I'm here. I'm going to replace that with a piece of treated wood. Um, we also need, let's see, a power we also need some cabling. So LV connectors, and then it's talking about our LV cable, and then the capacitor itself. I wonder if we have the stuff for the capacitor. So the LV capacitor is just lead around a small battery. Sulfur, iron, copper, lead. Okay. And then we need a bit of sulfur. Not too much like this. I th actually, this is a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be a little bit more to this. Okay, so we need two iron nuggets of copper. And that should get us a battery. And then everything else is lead plates. Okay. Not too difficult at all. There we go. All right, and we also need to convert this. As you see, these get converted into those coils. Um, and I do believe our LV connectors are the same as these connectors that you get eight of for the basalt and stone slabs. So let me take some of the stone. 
And we're going to chop some of that stone down. Into its slab, slab counterparts. We're going to get a couple things of basalt. And copper. I have just a little bit of. And then slabs. And there we go. So I'm going to get a few of those for right now. And then these convert into L to the connectors. And then two of these equal the relays. Sweet. So we're learning. We're learning a little bit more. We're getting into this. All right, let's go up top here. And I think what I want to do is put the kinetic dynamo right here. Right here. And I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay, that faces that direction. That's right. Okay, so let's place this like that. That looks just fine to me. And then we'll have an LV connector up here. I'm going to need to convert some of these over. Just like that. And like I said before, treated wood is going to go here for me. We're going to put an LV connector here. And uh, let's go back down. I'll have to pillar back up, but that's fine. Put an LV connector there. We need to get our old-fashioned hammer. Wherever that is, there it is. And we're going to click this. And now it is a feed-through insulator. So, now we don't, uh, don't break the fact that our house is a closed building. And there we go. So now we can connect these back up. And then... Throw our windmill on there, we should be good to go. So that's connected. Let's put our windmill on here. How fancy. All right, so this guy may be bare and we may knock our heads every now and then as we enter our building, but uh, it is generating some power for us. And it's all coming through here. Um, I still don't think it's enough power to power the induct uh, induction heater. But uh, we'll get to that amount of power eventually. I think I'm going to get one on each side. And that should definitely help with the power, especially whenever we get this covered. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's see with uh, is, uh, all the hemp that I do have. Let's just see if we do have enough to make some of those covered panels. All right, let's just see how many of these we can actually make. 30 of them. I don't know how many that will get us. Looks like five. That's not exactly enough, but it will cover some of them. So, as you can see, we can get a couple covered. I'm gonna leave this one out because I think it's gonna look funny if we uh, do put that on there because we do need what? It seems like four more. So yeah, eight in total, so we're gonna need four more of those. We'll get them in time, uh, but that definitely does help speed it up a little bit and uh, give you a little bit more oomph for your windmill. Now, um, I do want to see on the induction. Let me break, break this guy again. And we should be able to put the connector on there. There we go. And our LV cable. And we can actually, this will tell us exactly how much power we're generating. And as you can see, not much. We are not generating hardly any power from this. Um, but we might be able to do this. Um, I think if I drop a LV wire down here, um, we might be able to change the way our power is working here. Okay, so if I put that on the floor, let's connect this to that. Connect this there. And then this here. And see if we're pulling any more power from that. Or if this this may not actually convert the power over. Now that I look at it. Hmm. Well, that's no fun. I think maybe you have to use the 
capacitor. So it says, now that I have power, I can automate crushing with the rock crusher. This guy's pretty interesting. Uh, and I also almost forgot to mention, um, I couldn't get the battery to actually connect up to here. So I'm thinking maybe I have to directly connect everything and reconfigure and make, make this the primary block instead of everything else. So I don't exactly know how that's supposed to work. Maybe there's a converter with it within magnetic craft or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out over time. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and get that rock crusher made up. I hope that we have enough power to power this thing. Um, I do believe we are going to need some more sulfur. We're going to need a few iron bits and bobs with a copper and four lead plates. It's kind of funny because I have this basically memorized at this point um, because I've already done them so many times. Um, but yeah, we're going to need a bunch of steel in this guy. So steel, 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 battery. And then we're also going to need... I think that's coal. There's our coal. Two of the coal pulverized and a bunch of steel I'm just gonna grab a bunch of steel and we should have just about everything for this ready to go there is the advanced sky power the advanced power connector and rock crusher okay so I'm thinking where should I put this guy that is the question huh I mean, I don't want to replace this, but I was thinking maybe right here, I could throw that and I can just change the weight, change where my power is hooked it to. Cause this thing looks like it's only going to hold what? 256 uh, RF, thousand RF, something like that. Um, so what I could probably do is this guy could probably reach right over here and keep that thing powered. I'll take my shears. Oh, shears don't work. You have to use scissors. Okay. Just break that connection. For now. This is only a temporary setup, guys. Ah, it looks like that machine's going to block us. Could have figured that would happen. So we can just change things up a little bit. And how's that? Uninsulated cable. So when we step near it, we get shocked. Fun. So, as you can see, now it's powering up. Hmm. With this connection here, can I hopper from the side? I don't know if I have any available hoppers just laying around. I do. If I hopper an item from the side, I think if I put a chest there, it's going to block that. Looks like it will. Nope. Okay, good. Okay, so that will work. So I should be good there. Okay. Perfect. Um, so, the rock crusher. This guy says it will automate the crushing of magma rack. For one thing. And look at there, we get crushed magma rack. And it looks like, I mean... It's better than doing it by hand, but this still is not enough power to power this thing, which is understandable. We need to get a power network going with some windmills. But as you can see, this one actually just at least stutters, which is better than nothing. Um, still even letting that go is, is better than nothing. So let's go ahead and move on to the next session section. It says my designs are now getting more and more complicated. I need a workbench where I can work on and not get overwhelmed by the ideas I have. With that, let's get tangled up in this engineer's workbench because there's gonna be a lot more that we can do. And it looks like this opens up a bunch of stuff, I think, or opens up something. It's got a console command there. That means something. So the work table, pretty easy. We need uh, the treated wood. Uh, that's the only thing we need is the treated wood uh, fence and other than that I think we're good right just a regular crafting table and that's about it right perfect 
And there we go. Voila. Ooh, unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. Knowledge for Chosen Architect. All right. Command has been successfully executed. I have no idea what this opened up. But I see I'm a fire and my laser is one of the things. Um, did it open up anything I should know about? I guess these. Useful gadgets and another power source. Sterling generator. I just uh, I discovered e even another power source. I wonder what I can do with it. Unfortunately, it is not capable with the other power sources. Or not compatible. Ah. There's always a catch. The Sterling in engine, I don't remember. I think that runs off of steam, I do believe. That is its own power. Something totally different. So, we need to figure out somewhere to put this. Why not there? And what do we get? Oh, we got the uh, awesome blueprint here. Doesn't look like we can make blueprints, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, we can use this to make vacuum tubes, circuit boards now. A whole bunch of stuff kind of opened up for us, I guess. Um, and make a, a revolver. Whoa. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get demonetized now. Come on. Um, but it says uh, only one of these tasks need to be completed to, per to fulfill this quest. Okay. I'm guessing it's just talking about any of the parts. So you just need to make a, a revolver part in the foundry. And that will unlock the blueprints. That's what my guess is. Huh. The foundry. That means we have to make a revolver part in here. And I don't know how much of the clay we have. We have a few. I wouldn't mind to make that. Uh, let's see. Foundry. Where's our revolver? Revolver frame mold? mold? Depth 2. That's kind of a complicated piece there, isn't it? And this is wanting us to make an actual revolver from Foundry. Which would require the revolver frame. The revolver drum mold. Okay, so it's taking us through like the entire and then the barrel mold. Okay. That's understandable. I still don't think I have enough for this, right? And this probably all needs to be made out of steel, is my guess. So this. Let's take a look. And then like this. And then another square. And then that, and there we go. There's that piece. Um, and then we have a few other ones to make. The drum mold should be pretty easy. That is depth three on everything. So let's go ahead and get that guy. Depth three. Pretty simple. All right, there we go. And then we only have one more. The fun part is, is going to be casting this stuff out. And I'm wondering, what does these, what do these parts need to be made from? Steel. Uh, what's the heat requirement for steel? 1800. Oh, good. We're good. We're good. So let's get some of this in here. And we'll just get some built up. I don't know exactly how much this requires. The gun barrel requires one ingot. Ooh. 
the revolver requires one ingot, or the revolver drum, and that requires two ingots, so really don't even need as much as we have. Good, we'll get that all going in there. This is copper, right? All right, and so I'm making my last piece, which is the barrel, and there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these parts in here. As you can see, this should cast out one piece. This will cast out the other. You gotta be ca careful and quick and pull it out. Although it's gonna make another part. And there it is. And then I'm pretty sure you just throw it all together like this. And there we go. Nice. <laughs> it's so, so funny looking. Um, and then we have new blueprints for this. Okay. Let's see. Some people were telling me last time, take and make an item frame. And it, it holds your blueprints and it actually looks pretty good. I'm going to take that advice. And I'm going to do that. Let's take some of the leather we have. Or the rotten flesh, I should say. Let's convert this into some leather. Just like so. And we'll make some item frames out of that. At least two for right now. Oh, wow. Oh, now that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting it to actually convert it into a totally different thing, but it does. That's pretty cool. Well, uh, the more you the more you learn. So guys, we got quite a bit a uh, little, you know, we we kind of dabbled a little bit in today's video. Like I said, I am kind of sick. I am kind of on the uh the down, so I'm kind of waiting until all this medicine I'm taking kicks in and makes me feel a little bit a little bit better. Um but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. Also, I have a Discord. If you guys want to hop on that Discord and check it out, I highly recommend you do so. A lot of cool conversations go on. We have a great community over there. And uh, definitely, almost I think it's almost a 1,000 strong now. We're sitting at like almost 900 or something like that people, uh, members that we have on there. So there's a lot of people there to kind of hang out with. Um, also, I do have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out. I do currently have a Patreon server, um, also a Twitch sub server. So if you, instead of Patreon, want to sub on Twitch to get access to the uh, server, which is currently running SevTech, um, you can also do it that way. Uh, Twitch Prime works uh, just as well. So just wanted to let you guys know uh, about that in case you didn't. And uh, anyways, have a good day. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.